Lauderville Gang. Starring Dodger Dolphin. Angelfish. Sharky Shark. And their friends and neighbors, Tucker Turtle, Pearl Van Oyster, and Ace Seagull. I hate days like this, Dodger. There's nothing to do. I know, Sharky. It gets very boring sometimes. Hey. Let's go drop rocks on Mr. Tucker's shell and hide. <laughs> well, we can watch when he comes up to see who's there. <laughs> oh, boy, does he ever get mad when he has to wake up for nothing. <laughs> Sharky, that's mean. I think that's a rotten idea. Say, you haven't done that to poor old Mr. Tucker before, have you? Oh, well, uh, well, uh, no. Uh, well, uh, at least uh, not very much. Well, you should never have done it at all. You're lucky Mr. Tucker never sent Officer Grouper after you with the Perch Patrol. Gee, uh, I never thought of that. Hey, you're right. Well, anyway, we still have nothing to do. Uh, hello, boys. Hi, Ace. Hey, why are you so sad? Oh, I was just flying over Ocean Town, and, well, they've got quite a problem over there. What's wrong in Ocean Town? Oh, a strong current swept through there the other day and washed away all their houses and stuff. Well, uh, why don't they just build some new ones? Well, that's the real problem. The current swept away all the rocks and shells and coral that you fish folk build homes with. Gee, they're really in a tight spot. I wish we could help. Yeah, so do I. I, I just don't know what to do. Ah, come on, fellas. It's not our problem. Now well, we've got to find something to do. Well, I'm going for a good high fly. Maybe it'll help me feel better. So long, fellas. So long, Ace. Come on, Dodger, let's go do something. No thanks, Sharky. I don't feel like playing now. All those poor fish kids with no place to go home to, no warm caves to sleep in. But you can't do anything about it, Dodger. I'm not so sure about that, Sharky. Let's just think about it for a while. Maybe we'll get an idea. Oh, hi, Angel. Hey, Angel. Have you got any fun stuff to do today? Oh, gee, I was just looking for you to ask the same thing. What were you guys worrying about? Uh, oh, a big ocean current swept away all the homes in Ocean Town. And, and all the rocks and shells and coral and stuff, so they can't even build new ones. That's terrible. Gee, I, I wonder if there's anything we can do. Oh, not you too. That's what Dodger's working on. I don't see how we can help. I don't see how yet either, Sharky, but I know we've got to try. But I want to play. <sighs> That's a great idea, Sharky. Idea? Well, what idea? A play, like you said. A play? A charity play? Hey, that just might work. I think you two are nuts. If we put on a play for charity, Sharky, people will come to see it. And we tell everyone to bring a bag of rocks and shells and stuff to get in. Then, we give all the stuff to the Ocean Town folks to build homes with. Hey, well, it's my idea, so I get to play the lead. Right, Angel? It's okay with me, Sharky, if you can do it. What do you mean, if I can do it? Huh, just listen to this. <laughs> oh, fair jumbling, what for ain't you? The son is the dad, <laughs> and yonder breaks the window, and Harvey is the love of Mike. Why, I... Whoa, 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 hold it, Flipper. This isn't the time or place. Save that terrific talent for the play. Ah, uh, Sharky, <laughs> I think we ought to hold auditions and give out the roles that way. That sounds like a good idea. Sure, why not? I'll win the lead anyway. I wonder who we can get to pick the actors at an audition. Hmm, maybe... Officer Grouper will help. That's not fair. He doesn't like me. He wouldn't pick me for the lead, even though I am the best. All right, then. How about Arthur Snail? Arthur would be good. Nah, he's got lousy taste. 
Bubble Blowfish, then. He's got good taste. <laughs> oh, you know how shy Bubble is, Angel. He'd be too embarrassed to pick anyone. You're probably right. Do you think Hermit Crab would do it? Nope. He just gets grumpy when you ask him something. Well, somebody's got to do it. How about Mr. Tucker Turtle? Sure. Now, let's ask him. Mr. Tucker would be perfect. Let's go. I'll knock. Hang on out there, will you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Are you still using the front door? Oh, never mind. Stay there. Well, what is it this time? Well, we were wondering if you... Oh, spinnaked swordfish. Every time I'm enjoying a dream, you come around and wake me. But we need your help, Mr. Tucker. Well... Well, what is it? Would you be a talent judge for us? What kind of talent? Whose? Ours. Ha! Huh. If it's talent for waking folks up, you're all champions. No acting talent. No acting talent is right. There's nothing to judge. But we want to try, Mr. Tucker. We want to hold a play for charity. We want to get folks to donate stuff to build houses for our neighbors in Ocean Town. A big current swept all their homes and materials away. Well, it's nice that you want to help, gang, but I can't judge for you. Well, why not? Well, the last time I did something like this, a person I picked thought I was a fine fellow. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, the 37 losers wouldn't talk to me for a month. Uh, oh, wait, on second thought, that might be a good way to keep you kids from bothering me. No, 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 it wouldn't work. The one I did pick would just bother me three times as much. But we must get someone to help. Well, try see more sawfish. No, the, the sawfishes are on vacation. Uh, Mr. Sawfish had to go to a carpenter's convention in Florida, and the whole family went along. Well, why not Hammerhead Shark, then? Hey, that's a good idea. Let's ask him. No siree, Sharky. We know Hammerhead's your uncle and will pick you. Yeah, and so do you. Well, sure he'll pick me, and so will any other judge, because I've got talent. Oh, what makes you say that, Mr. Modesty? My dad. He always says, Sharky, stop acting like an idiot. <laughs> and my dad's smart. If he says I can act like an idiot, well, I guess I can act like anything I want to. That makes sense, I guess. Anyway, Hammerhead's out. And we still have to find a talent judge. Oh, Mrs. Van Oyster is interested in little theater. Uh, this is as little as it gets. Why don't you ask her? Yeah, yeah, Mrs. Van Oyster's got good taste. Uh, she'd know enough to pick me. Yes, she'd be wonderful as a talent judge. Mrs. Van Oyster's fine with me. I hope she'll do it. Uh, well, what do you kids plan to do for a director? A director? Do we need one? Well, sure. Somebody has to supervise a production, get the most out of the actors, and, and, and so on. Gee, I hadn't thought of that. What kind of person do we need? Well, uh, he should be older, so he can command respect and wise. And he should understand fish nature, so he can make the performance come to life. Someone like, uh, 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 like, like me, sort of. Oh, my. Where can we find somebody like that? Oh, I'm sure you can think of some local uh, uh, turtle or someone like that. But, Mr. Tucker, you're the only old turtle we know. Oh, oh, well... Uh... Angel, I think that's what Mr. Tucker means. Boy, does he ever. He's done everything to hint except hold up a sign. Now, see here. If I want to help those troubled folks over in Ocean Town, why should you object? Oh, we don't object, Mr. Tucker. I think it's great that you want to help. All in favor of Mr. Tucker directing our play, say aye. 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 Oh, it's unanimous, Mr. Tucker. You're our director. Waterville gang, I thank you. Now, while I choose a play for us to put on, you go ask Mrs. Van Oyster to handle the casting. Okay, Mr. Tucker. Bye. Gee, fellas, 
I didn't know he had to wear a play. Oh, uh, what do you mean? How can you wear a play? Mr. Tucker said he's going to choose a play for us to put on. I thought a play was something you act in, not put on. That means the same thing, Angel. Sure, you put on a play so you can act in it. <laughs> hey, just like you put on pajamas to sleep in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and what's this casting that Mrs. Van Oyster's supposed to handle? It sounds like she's going fishing. Now, I'm sure she wouldn't go casting to catch fish. Casting in theater talk, Angel, it means assigning parts to actors for a play. Oh, uh... Boy, is this gonna be easy? I'll walk away with the plum roll. Oh, while you're getting your plum roll, Sharky, would you get me a blueberry bun? Dodger, do you get the feeling you're going crazy when you talk to Angel? Every time, Sharky. Every time. I think I'm being insulted. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Angel. We all love you anyway. Sure, Angel. Now, come on, gang. We've got to ask Mrs. Van Oyster to help. Yeah, come on. Let's get going. Right. Let's go. This is really going to be fun. I sure hope Mrs. Van Oyster will help. Gag, and what are you up to today? We're planning a play. We're going to have people pay building stuff to see it so we can help the Ocean Town folks rebuild their homes. What a nice gesture, dear. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Tucker's going to direct if you'll be our talent judge and do the casting. Whoever suggested that old coot as director? Uh, he did. Well, I might have known. Will you help us, Mrs. Van Oyster? Oh, please do our casting. Why, surely, dear. Surely? My name is Angel. Just because I'm going to be an actress, I'm not going to change my name. <laughs> Don't mind Angel, Mrs. Van Oyster. She gets confused easily. Thanks for helping. When would you like to hold auditions? Well, as soon as I know what play we're doing. Okay, great. Angel and Sharky, you go see what Mr. Tucker has decided. I'll go tell Ace about our idea. He can fly around and tell everyone about it so we can get a big crowd and earn lots of building materials for Ocean Town. Ask him if he'd like to audition, too, Dodger. Ha! <laughs> I'll beat him out for the lead, too. Let's go, Sharky, before your head gets so big you can't swim. Bye, Mrs. Van Oyster. Boy, that's Sharky. That's the first time I've seen ham in a shark. Hey, Ace. Huh? Oh, hi, Dodger. Buck up, Ace. We're going to help all the fish in Ocean Town. We are? How? We're putting on a play to get all the folks in Waterville to bring shells and stuff to give to Ocean Town to rebuild with. A charity play? What a great idea. Uh, how can I help? Well, as soon as we know what play we're doing, you can fly around and tell everyone to come. Oh, sure. Glad to. And Mrs. Van Oyster, who's doing our casting, said you should audition, too. <laughs> hey, that might be fun. Yeah, I'll do it. Good. Let's get back to Mrs. Van Oyster's shell. Maybe Angel and Sharky have found out what play we're doing. Uh, found out from who? Well, Mr. Tucker. He's volunteered to be our director. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Let's go. Mrs. Van Oyster, are you in? Well, Sharky, did Mr. Tucker tell you what play we're casting for? Yes, ma'am. Uh, we're gonna do Goldie Scales and the Three Sea Folk. Oh, that's a fine choice. I'm sure you'll get a lot of people to bring building materials to a production like that. Uh, good afternoon, Mrs. Van Oyster. Uh, how have you been? Just fine, thank you, Ace. And I'm very pleased that we're doing Goldie Scales and the Three Sea Folk. Is that the play? That's terrific. Angel will play Goldie Scales, I guess. By the way, where is Angel? Uh, she went home to get a costume for the audition. Well, I don't know why. Uh, she's going to win the female lead anyway. She's the only female we have. I think we should have done a play for a male lead. I mean, how else can I show my talent properly? 
Uh, don't worry, Sharky. I have a feeling that everyone will notice you. <laughs> Even if you have to set off firecrackers to make sure they do. I resent that, Ace. There's no room for false modesty in the theater, you know. You've got to be very sure of yourself to make it. <laughs> well, it's too bad everyone else isn't as sure of you as you are. Well, that's enough, gentlemen. Now, let's get on with the audition. Uh, uh, we'll have you read first the part of the papa. Uh, uh, Sharky, you go first. Right. All right, come on, move back, man. Uh, give me a little room to uh, emote. <laughs> <clears throat> This seaweed cereal is too hot. Mother, let's go for a walk while it cools. Uh, 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 somebody's been sitting on my rock. Someone's been there. Uh, all right, been, all uh, right, all right, thank you. Uh, don't call us, we'll call you. But, but, but you haven't heard enough yet. I mean, you can't tell. Wrong, wrong. I've heard more than enough. Uh, <clears throat> next, please. I, 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 I guess that's me. Uh, it's not fair. I was robbed. All right, Dodger. You may read for the role of Papa now. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, be careful of the seaweed cereal, family. It's hot enough to burn your mouth. Say, how would you like to take a walk while it cools? Fine. Let's go then, shall we? How was that, Mrs. Van Oyster? Just fine, Dodger. We'll let you know. Uh, next up, a seagull, please. Gee, Sharky. I didn't do any better than you. It looks like... Ah, uh, I'm beginning to think that old Mrs. Van Oyster doesn't know a thing about real talent. Shh, shh. Ace is reading now. Uh, somebody's been sitting on my rock. And somebody's been eating my seaweed cereal. I wonder... Enough! Enough! Uh-oh. It looks like Ace did worse than us. Huh, sure. <laughs> it looks like I've got the part. That's wonderful, Ace. You have a great voice. The part of the papa is yours. Why, why, thank you, Mrs. Van Oyster. That, that's very nice of you. Credit where credit's due, Ace. Boys, come here now for the next biggest part. The little boy. Mm, that's not fair. Uh, I don't see how you can tell from, from so little reading. Congratulations, Ace. You sounded great. Don't take it personally, Sharky. I'm just doing my best to make the play a success. Um, would you like to read for the little boy part now? Well, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Somebody's been sitting on my rock, and they broke it. And somebody's been sleeping in my bed, and here she is. Uh, very I nice, Sharky, very nice. Thank you. Next. Nice going, Sharky. Uh, I'm next, Mrs. Van Oyster. Yes, Dodger, go ahead, dear. Oh, boy. Um, oh, dear. Somebody sat on my rock, and they've broken it. And my bed. Somebody slept in it, and she's still here. How's that, ma'am? Just fine, Dodger. The part is yours. Now, um, we have only the mother role to fill. Uh, I guess that's your Sharky. Oh, wait a minute. I can't play a woman's part? Well, why, everyone will laugh at me. <laughs> oh, no, they won't, Sharky. Why, it'll show what great talent you have if you can play it believably. Sure, Sharky. It presents a great creative challenge. It's your big chance to make an impression. Gee, do you really think so? Why, sure, Sharky. Well, <clears throat> I've got to go learn my lines. It's been quite a while since I read the story of Goldie Scales and the Three Sea Folk. Uh, so long. I'll see you at the rehearsal. So long, Ace. Thanks for joining in. And thank you, Mrs. Van Oyster, for your help in our charity project. Yeah, thanks, I guess. Oh, it's been most enjoyable. I'm, I'm sure you'll all do a wonderful job. I would like to see Angel, though. Yeah, me too. Uh, I'd like to see what she's going to wear for a costume. So would I. She'll be great as Goldie Scales. Hi, co-stars. How do you like my costume? Gee, Angel, you look real cute. Yeah, you really do, Angel. Boy, I'll bet every boy fish in the audience just falls in love with you. Oh, what a nice thing to say. Thank you, boys. You <laughs> look absolutely charming, Angel. Now, I think the three of you should go over to Mr. Tucker's place for instructions. You'll have to do a lot of rehearsing if the play is to be successful. Yeah, I guess I'll really have to work at 
being a lady if I'm gonna do a good job. Oh, Sharky! <laughs> Are you playing the mother? <laughs> That's funny. Angel, don't be mean. I think Sharky's being very good about it. We wouldn't go on if he didn't accept the part, you know. Gee, that's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sharky. Oh, that's all right this time. But you know how we troopers are. The show must go on. And the actors must rehearse. Let's go and see Mr. Tucker, eh? Bye, Mrs. Van Oyster. Goodbye, gang, and good luck. I'll be in the wings in case you need me. <laughs> All right, positions, ready, curtain up, you're on. Oh, my. Well, I've been swimming a long time. Oh, look over there. A cute little cave in the middle of the kelp forest. I wonder who lives there. I'm so hungry. Oh. Three shells of seaweed cereal. Oh, the big one's too hot. And the middle-sized one is too cold. Oh, boy, the little one's just right. So, Mother, Junior's rock seat has been broken and all our shells of seaweed cereal have been tasted. Let's check our beds. Hey, somebody's been sleeping in my bed. And somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed, and she still is. It's Goldie Scales. Oh, good halibut. You're home. I meant no harm. Please, let me go. Great, all of you. The audience just loved it, and we got so many charity donations, too. Oh, Mr. Tucker is so proud. He thinks we ought to have another performance. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, everyone, for a great performance. We'll thank Ace later. He was so nervous, he left after the bow. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is the CTV Television Network.